Bobby Torres of Fright Box Recording here to tell you why you should be programming your drums before recording your real drums. Sometimes. Food for thought. Food for thought. Sorry, I'm a little hyper today. If you want your productions to sound professional, you must approach your productions as a professional would. Now, unless you're working with an outside producer um, and you're hired simply as just the recording engineer, you are the producer. It's your responsibility to make sure that things go accordingly. And also, super important, always keep this in mind, it is impossible to mix your way out of a production uh, that's not built on a rock solid foundation. All awesome, super duper tight, heavy, hard hitting uh, rock and metal productions start with a solid drum performance. This is why you very well might wanna sit down with your drummer, program all the drum parts uh, within a drum sequencer before recording your actual drums. This process will help you iron out any details within the pre-production phase, which is super important. One of the biggest problems that I see a lot is bands hitting the studio without paying close attention to the small details uh, within the music. Now, let's say your band or the band that you're working with simply just rehearses in a room um, and then you know they feel that the songs are tight and they decide to hit the studio. More often than not, there will be a part or two or 10 or 20 or 30 or 40 or a million uh, where the kick drum pattern is conflicting with the riffs or the fill doesn't necessarily fit the ending of the phrase or there's a weird start or stop that's happening within the music that uh, just no one notices because they're always playing so loud. Uh, programming your drums uh, will force the band to commit to the parts before anything is actually recorded. And it will bring on a great sense of clarity before you go in there and mic up all the drums and you know spend two days recording a record or an EP. Now, editing your drums seems like it might be a pain in the ass. And yes, it does take work up front, but trust me, that little bit of work up front will pay off when your drum session runs super smoothly. Luckily, there are some amazing drum programs out there. One of them is Easy Drummer. I'm a huge fan of it for pre-production. It just makes drum programming super simple and super fast, uh, where it doesn't take much time at all. Now, spending the time on pre-production like this is not a sexy topic. Uh, most people shy away from it and just want to get into the recording uh, and more specifically want to jump into the mix. But believe me, it all starts with a solid foundation. Trust me. Okay, so I have an actual real world example here of a project that I'm currently working on where we haven't even tracked drums yet. And I've decided to take it a step further where I've tracked guitars to the song and we haven't even tracked drums yet, but all of the drum parts have been fully agreed upon. So when the drummer comes into the studio to track drums, it's gonna be smooth sailing. So I'm gonna just show you the tracks that I have going on in the session so you know exactly what's happening in this pre-production. Um, well, pre-production minus the real guitars. The guitars are real, they are not reamped yet. They're just simply DIs going through a plugin. So I have my program drums. And these program drums are a roadmap for my drummer to follow when he comes in and records the real drums. And then I have my real guitars. These are my actual real rhythm guitars that are gonna end up in the final production. And actually, like I said before, they are just DIs. So if you listen. It's super simple, all of the guitar tracks, I'm just utilizing the TSC X50 plugin. And I have my custom impulse response loaded in the plugin, which you could download for absolutely free. There's a link below in the video's description. So in the final production, I could use the Amson plugins if I want, or I could reamp these tracks through a live amp if I wish. And we have some scratch bass. With some very dead strings. And we also have a scratch lead and a scratch rhythm guitar that was there just for uh, when we were programming the drums. That's it, super simple. And like I said, these guitars here, the left and right, are the actual real guitar performances that are gonna end up in the final production. And we haven't even tracked drums yet. Again, this is just a scratch guitar that was there for when we were programming the drums. Uh, scratch bass, because we haven't tracked real bass, like I said before, and that's it. So let's see how the production of this song is coming along, even though real drums have not even been tracked yet. Let's check it out. So all of my drum parts, like this one right here,
Yeah, all those kick patterns have been set in stone. Uh, all the guitar parts have been set in stone because they've actually been recorded. And my production is just built on a rock solid foundation. So when it comes to tracking the vocals, the bass, the leads, and finally the mix, it's gonna be smooth sailing. Now, please, if you have any questions at all, feel free to leave a question in the comment section below and I'll be happy to get back to you. So is this something that you do? Do you ever program your drums before recording the actual drummer uh, live within the studio? I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, like, comment, subscribe, and share. And do not forget to click the little bell icon in order to be notified every time I upload one of my weekly videos on all things metal and rock production. You can both like and follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Links are in the description below. And there is a link to my free guitar impulse response right in the video's description. Download it and load it into your Amps plugin and uh, have fun with it. Till next time, happy mixing.